Thank you.
What's happening, everybody? My name is Peter Martin. Thank you so much for being here. It's Friday Night Live, and uh, I'm coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri uh, in the U.S., and uh, I'm so excited and honored that you chose to join me. Spend a little bit of time on this Friday evening or, Friday or Saturday morning, depending on where you are in the world, or earlier Friday, I guess, as well. Could be any time, but uh, it's always a good time to come together with the spirit of music. So I hope that you're doing well. And the first couple of tunes that I played uh, are associated with, actually composed by two of my favorite people and uh, musicians that I got a chance uh, to, to play with and to interact with and to learn with. And uh, I consider them both very, very uh, deep friends and um, really both of them mentors of mine as well. And unfortunately, neither one of them is physically with us anymore, but they're still very much alive with us with the music. The first tune was Strasbourg Saint Denis by the late great Roy Hargrove. And uh, that tune I just played, it's called Twelve Zit uh, by Ellis Marsalis. It's actually the first Ellis Marsalis tune I ever heard. I didn't even know it was his tune when I first heard it, um, but always happy memories of Mr. Marsalis. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a little fun tonight. If this is your first time, welcome in, much love fam. And um, this is a happy, safe space, as we say. We have a little bit of fun, uh, play some music, and uh, just come together via the internet, as it were. Um, the next tune I'd like to play for you is from the songbook. Is it a songbook? I don't even know. Do you still call them songbooks? No, not really. From the compositional book, from the archives of uh, Mr. Thelonious Monk, who's one of my favorite composers, um, as some of you that are regulars around these parts will probably know. Um, but this is one of his most beautiful, uh, I always feel weird saying one of his most beautiful compositions because they're all beautiful, at least all the ones that I play and all the ones that I've heard. Um, but uh, I guess he just kind of tossed aside the ones that were lesser. That was smart. Um, but I think this one's really beautiful, one of his most beloved ballads and compositions. This is Ruby, My Dear. Enjoy.
All right. That was a little Alone Together. Great standard. I love to play, which is what we are again. Always alone together. And actually, I, uh, I'm having so much fun. You know, solo piano, such so fun. But um, I've been playing with uh, other musicians uh, and doing a little bit of touring and some gigs, which has been amazing with some live audiences. Uh, but to come back to solo piano, I got a little secret weapon in my pocket, and that is bringing um, the energy and experiences of those audiences and those musicians back with me in the ideas. So I got to give up, uh, full, what do they call it, full disclosure. Got to give up the, the cred for that. Um, I had a wonderful weekend. Actually got a chance to meet a, a few of you. I, I don't know if you're on the stream tonight, but I met some great folks up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire last weekend. They've got a wonderful uh, brand new jazz club. We kind of opened it up last week actually with Christian McBride and Inside Straight, Steve Wilson, Carl Allen, Warren Wolf, Christian McBride of course. Um, it's in Portsmouth, but it's like, I don't know, an hour maybe from Boston, close to Maine, close to um, Concord, you know, kind of New England, right in the middle of New England. So if you're up in the area, I highly recommend it. They got a bunch of great uh, musicians coming in. Super safe, big club, show your vaccine card at the door, the whole thing. So that was great. So thank you to Christian McBride and the whole band for giving me the energy and some ideas of things to play tonight. So, we're moving along. Oh, I'm going to play, um, first of all, we have a program here at Friday Night Live, formerly Connected in Place, formerly Shelter in Place. This is the third season. This is number two of Friday Night Live of what will be an ongoing um, series, uh, hopefully once or twice a month as my schedule and as your schedule allows. The next um, Friday Night Live is going to be October 29th, so if you'd like to mark your calendar, your Google calendar or whatever, that's Friday. I believe that's in three weeks, two weeks, something like that from now, October 29th. Right here, same channel, same bat channel, same bat place, 8 p.m. Eastern. And um, we have a program here, bam, the uh, virtual ticket program. Virtual ticket, what is that, you might ask? Well, this is a ticket that you may purchase on the honor system if the spirit so moves you. Uh, it keeps the lights on. It keeps the camera. You see how that camera is moving now? I got to pay a robot to do that. That camera is moving too. Uh, but through your guys' generosity and support over this last year and a half, um, it's been great to be able to build up our Open Studio Live program um, with equipment and the piano tune. And you, you just don't know. You don't need to know everything that goes into doing this, but just know that we really pride ourselves on putting together a premium show here, whether it's me or some of the other groups that we started to do and that we have coming. Uh, later as part of the Open Studio Live program. But Open Studio is our main sponsor here. And as you can see, the sign and everything. Um, so if you would, when you get a chance, you can do it after the show, you can do it now, whatever. Go to petermartin.live on the World Wide Webs, and you can pick up a ticket. And we got tickets starting at $4, U.S. dollars. You can start low, work your way up to the VIP, and we welcome you at any, at any point. But we appreciate the support and keeping things rolling here. So there's that. Um, right now, I'd like to play some music of... Um, Billy Strayhorn. What y'all know about Billy Strayhorn, one of our amazing composers, primarily known as a collaborator with Duke Ellington, protege to Duke Ellington, partner of Duke Ellington. They wrote a lot of music together. He's also wrote Lush Life, which I've done several times here. But tonight, I hope that you enjoy The Intimacy of the Blues by Billy Strayhorn. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. The intimacy of the blues, a little blues on a Friday night. It's always the right night for the blues, right? You know what I'm saying? So I hope that, as always, that you are feeling lifted. Uh, if you came in tonight and you were a little down, I hope I lifted you up. I hope I'm lifting you up a little bit. I hope the music's lifting you up. It's not me. It's the music. If you're up a little bit too high, maybe I'm pulling you down. That's all good, too. Maybe we're coasting right into the weekend together. That's great, too. Um, but I forgot to mention, we were talking about the virtual ticket. Go to PeterMartin.live. Um, we always support a nonprofit here at uh, Open Studio Live every week. And uh, this week, we are circling back for a very special reason to our good friends, our partners, uh, Pianos for People, uh, which is an amazing organization. I've talked about them before, but I can never talk about them enough. Uh, they connect people with pianos, and they connect pianos with people. And uh, they connect great instruments that aren't being used. Uh, they refurbish them. They fix them up. They get them into children's hands, adults' hands, families' hands, and they're transforming lives. They have uh, actually transformed quite a few lives that I know personally, and I've seen it happen. And I know the power of piano, and I, I hope that you do too, but not everybody does. But the, this instrument can transform people's lives, their futures, and, and everything. And it's an amazing uh, program that they do. They do it upright. And uh, we're dedicating things tonight to the memory of Mr. Tom Townsend, who is the founder of uh, Pianos for People and was a good friend of mine who we tragically lost a couple years ago. Uh, but I know he's up there watching us and um, great pianist himself. He's tapping his feet and playing along. Uh, but we're giving 20% of the virtual tickets this week directly to Pianos for People uh, for their programs that they do. They have two uh, great studios here with after-school programs, summer programs. Everything is free for the kids. And um, uh, they have one in Ferguson and in uh, South St. Louis and amazing teachers and first-class folks there. And normally next weekend would be their 100 Fingers annual, annual gala, gala uh, that I was going to be a part of and I've done before. And unfortunately, it's going to be postponed until the spring out of an abundance of caution uh, due to COVID-19. So we are um, glad to give just a little bit of support, but we look forward to reuniting with them for 100 Fingers very soon. More on that. Please stay tuned. All right. Next, we're going to do, oh, yeah, I got a, I got a homework assignment, but I'm going to play one tune first. I'm going to do a ballad. I love this. Uh, oh, is it going to be the same key? Maybe we'll do it somewhere else. Um, this is a tune I first heard, Keith Jarrett, the great Keith Jarrett, um, who I don't talk about enough here. Huge inspiration, amazing musician, and he's been ill of late, unfortunately. Um, and uh, so our thoughts and prayers and good energy and musical vibes and spiritual vibes we are sending to Mr. Keith Jarrett for all the great music that he's put out here. Uh, but this is uh, Blame It On My Youth.
All right, next, I got a homework assignment from this afternoon. Um, Adam Manis, our creative director here at Open Studio and a very fine jazz pianist and educator in his own right, um, did a live YouTube session this afternoon on the Open Studio channel, as he does pretty much every Friday and Tuesday in the afternoon. And he's been studying with a great group of folks, uh, giant steps and different approaches all week. And uh, I got excited because, uh, you know, he's got a great group of people and he was asking, Adam was asking folks to press that thumbs up button um, on the video. And look, this is not, I do the same thing sometimes. In fact, if you're enjoying this live stream tonight, how about pressing the thumbs up, uh, the thumbs up button, the little thing that you see right under the video when you get a chance. Now this is not because I love adulation and love, I do. But uh, it's more because this helps turn the YouTube algorithm um, positive. It turns the YouTube algorithm into a force for good, if I might be so bashful to say so myself. Why, you may ask? Well, you hear a lot about the evil Facebook algorithm, the evil YouTube algorithm. And all this stuff is true, but it's all created by humans, I think. I don't know if the machines have taken over yet. But the idea is that we can also spread around stuff that's beautiful or that's uplifting or that's fun at least. Um, but it's up to us to do that. And so what happens is there's a lot of negativity out there. There's a lot of controversy out there. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of hatred. There's a lot of strife. And that gets the headlines. That gets the attention. And unfortunately, that's what gets shared, commented all, commented on, and engaged with online in a lot of different situations. So I'm getting on my soapbox. And I know I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot, but when you press thumbs up, that kind of lets YouTube know, hey, this is something that you like. And then they go and find other people that are like you, hip, beautiful, attractive, sophisticated, rich, you know, people like you guys that, did I say sophisticated? Of course, because you're here. Uh, but, you know, it, it finds other people like you and recommends this and other things like that. So anyway, Adam's doing his thing and he says, you know what, I want to try to get 50 likes before I start into the lesson today, which is a great idea. And so I had the idea, I texted him, I said, hey, tell everybody if you can get 100 likes, 100 thumbs up, they're not likes, what are they, thumbs up, whatever, affirmations, then I'll play Giant Steps tonight. And, because that's a lot, that's a lot for those videos to get 100, because most people don't, most people are lazy and don't press that, but not you guys. But anyway, lo and behold, he got 100, he went over, so, I got locked into, as of a couple hours ago, Giant Steps, which is fine because I love this tune. But then somebody in the comments said, well, is Peter going to play it in five, four, like the way the music Adam had on screen for the tutorial today? And I said, of course I'll do that. And then I kind of came over to the piano and said, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to do a little bit of the five because I promised to do it. That's my homework part. And then I'm going to play uh, Giant Steps. I don't know how we're going to do this. Actually, we're just going to see. This is what's so great about Jazz music improvisation is we're gonna see where it takes us, but I thank you guys so much for being here because I'm gonna take you guys out on this one and um, I thank you very much. I'm gonna be back here on October 29th um, So I will see you here for that Please pick up that virtual ticket when you get a chance right after the show would be a great time tickets starting at just four dollars for those that are um, broke or fiscally reserved or um, Fiscally underfunded at this time. We understand no problem so we got you covered. Go to petermartin.live. And again, we're giving 20% is going directly to Pianos for People. You can learn about them when you go to Peter Martin Live as well and all the great things they're doing over there. And, hey, look, big shout out. We got people from all, I saw, this, I saw you guys right before we started. And my apologies if I miss some people. I'm just going to call out where you're from because this is cool. California always comes strong on this live stream. So that's great. Rancho, Rancho Mirage, Santa Cruz. I love Santa Cruz. Palm Desert. What's up, David? Uh, we got uh, Burnby, British Columbia, another beautiful part of the West Coast. Vegas is in the house, as usual. Tokyo, Japan, thank you for getting up early with us. Uh, how is Saturday? Tell us about Saturday, because we haven't experienced it yet. Uh, Cleveland, we got some good upper Midwest. Rust Belt, Cleveland, Ohio, Livonia, Michigan. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, what's up with that? You know, the most beautiful people, the most beautiful place, they come here on Fridays, all right? Hastings, England, London, England, UK representing. Rochester, New York, my buddy Donna's up there. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Winchester, Massachusetts. I was just in Boston. Um, Boston, having some fun. Okay, so here we go, giant steps. I'm procrastinating now for my homework. Thank you guys for being here. I love you. And um, peace and piano. Please stay lifted. Please stay connected.
spiritually connected through the music. Here's Giant Steps. Good night.